Hello guys, it's Ayana again um, and this is episode 5 of my mini-series Self-Esteem. This episode is just about affirmations and positive praise um, and I wanted to dedicate a whole episode for this for a couple of reasons. Um, one, because of the importance of it and two, it kind of follows up from the last two episodes in terms of tools that I've used. So it follows up from that and challenges and blockages where one of the things I'd kind of said was being selective with who you're around and who you share your energy with. Now, um, for me, I am very much someone that it's really interesting as I kind of only listen to my own viewpoint, um, which is good for some things as I've already kind of gone through, but quite bad in terms of building self-esteem, particularly when I've got my negative narrative for Patty in her place. So one of the things I did was ask some people nearest and dearest to me what they loved about me and what they loved about my character. Now, I wrote the message probably about a week before I sent it. I felt awful even asking. It made me uncomfortable. It made me feel a bit sick. And in a minute I sent it, I was like, oh my gosh, can I delete it? And you know, WhatsApp's got that hole now, delete for you, delete for everybody. And I just thought, no, sit with that feeling. Um, the response was, I have to be honest, extremely overwhelming in a really good way, but I found it really difficult and it made me cry a couple of times, mainly because I kind of thought you've got all these people whose opinion you've trust, which is why I asked them to do this in the first place. And they're saying all of these nice things and there's still an element of doubt in your mind. But not only that, it's just like you feel so badly about yourself, but these people have said such beautiful things. So that was an eye opener for me. And in this session, I'm actually going to read what they've said. Now, again, this is for me because I'm still very uncomfortable with all of this positive stuff. But it makes it forces me to sit in that moment and to take on board what's been said. And I think it's nice to share, you know, there's nothing wrong. My palms are sweating and I actually feel a little bit sick. That's how mad it is. Um, there's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with people saying nice things about you, but it's still something I really struggle with. And I've got better at accepting compliments um, before I would just completely disregard them and just try and move on. Whereas now I'm a little bit more like, I say, thank you. I do still quickly try and change the subject though. So I have to hold that. I really have to hold that. But um, I'm going to read what people have said and I'm going to put it out there, not only to thank them for the fact that they took the time to say such lovely and beautiful things about me, but also because I just appreciate what's been said and I'm hoping that it will inspire you guys to ask someone to say nice things about you. And I'll talk about what this has done and what I've done with this stuff afterwards. So, right, we're going to start. a bit of sangria naturally Whew, okay so i've got them on my tablet i'm reading them from my tablet um okay right i'm gonna start with my sister chantelle she said ayana you've asked me to set out what i love about you and your character it took me a while to do this not because it's difficult but because it i felt it was important to get it right it was important for me to get this right because you demand and command excellence you have expectations of greatness and self-sufficiency, the origins in your conduct and mannerisms. You demand excellence because you demonstrate excellence in your mind and in your actions. I'm sure many of your addressees will say that you are kind and caring. This goes without saying, and these characteristics, and these are characteristics that most members of the population possess. You are fearless, a leader, headstrong and unequivocally loyal, which stems from a maturity and a place of wisdom that belies your years. You are a spiritual being, not in a religious sense, but in a biblical sense. And because I know the level of maturity you operate at, I know this requires little explanation. I admire the courage you demonstrate and your ability to understand and discern right from wrong, even though these were not necessarily tools you were armed with as a child. You have defied expectations of what you should have turned out as and instead have created your own path and followed a journey into adulthood in a strong and determined fashion, fully negotiating life and challenges thrown at you. When you look at yourself, you are sometimes harsh and self-critical, but when you look at others, you are positive and empathetic, even when they are undeserving. Be kinder to yourself and see yourself as we see you. That's from Chantel. That still runs chills down my spine. That's just amazing. Another one of my really close friends, one of my best friends, Kathleen. Um, intelligent. 
So smart about your particular field, but also random things. There's not a subject you can't speak intelligently on. You're emotionally intelligent too, tuned into others in your own. Strong. You somehow, you somehow always pick yourself up, dust it off and keep trucking an admired trait. Non-judgmental. You listen, you take in, but you don't judge. An amazing ability to empathise, bring perspective and give advice. Funny. Wicked sense of humour and even just your laugh makes others smile. What an amazing quality to have, so precious. Loyal. You are a defender and protector of the people you hold dear and what's and that's probably a big part of why people are so drawn to you. You make us feel safe. Safe to speak and safe to be ourselves. Intuitive. The amount of times you've messaged me something I've really needed to hear without me having to say anything and from so far away is truly incredible. Interesting and interested. This is one of my biggest things with people. You are both and that is important. You are constantly learning and growing in your wisdom. That's from Kathleen. Um, and then I've got from Dej. Deji, one of my close friends as well. It's your character. is your ability to make others smile and make others feel as though you might be hurt even though you may be hurting. Your dramatic character is one of the things I love about you. I'm very dramatic, guys. Um, it shows your passion and connection to whatever subject in discussion, your ability to love and allow others to be their most vulnerable to you. Um, about me is my hospitality. He even made a joke saying I feel a bit of a way when the boys come around and I've not made some food, which is true. I like feeding people. And your passion for the juice and in brackets, red wine. <laughs> Um, the fact that you're a huge role model to your nieces and nephews and the fact that you may take long to get over something, but the littlest thing will do the job. Um, a friend of mine, Jess, who I went to university with, just did my degree with. Um, one of the things that I loved with hers is that she was the first one to get back to me. And I literally mean within minutes. And I found it so overwhelming that she was able to just reel these off. And I mean, literally, I sent it, I think, at 1736 and by 1737 this was here she said well that's easy easy your kindness your generosity your strength your humor your enthusiasm the fact that you're 100 percent dependable your courage you're superb mate jess love you jess thanks for that um another friend from uni eve you are incredibly warm direct and emotionally insightful open-minded non-judgmental utterly your own person with your own unusual interests genuine and a joy to be around um i've got another sister janine uh who's the person that gave me the book i was speaking about earlier she said your confidence and your warmth we can chat about anything we have a raucous laugh or talk deeply there's nothing i'm afraid to share with you you fit in wherever you go and you take no shit or nonsense from people you have inner and outer beauty and a great sense of style thank her <laughs> um Jenny, Jenny is amazing. Right, Jenny said, Ayana is a crossroad of adventure. She is where dreams, reality, strength and gentleness forge together. She listens and supports. She is intelligent and vivacious with the most wondrous sense of humour. She has a warm vibration which is magnetic and has a wise head on young shoulders. She has to take time at care to protect herself. She thinks deeply and can choose how to express her vulnerabilities. If you are in her circle, feel honoured as she holds particular values highly, such as loyalty and trust. She vigorously reciprocates these, and as a typical Leo, she is strong, bold and tenacious. She deserves of so much love, and I love her. Um, Amina is someone I went to college with. AJ, and a lot of people refer to me as AJ, a lot of my friends still call me AJ. AJ, you are you're an unapologetic soul and here to reign. When I met you in college the first time round, you were very confident and your personality was through the roof, full of energy and charisma. I can imagine whoever has you close is very lucky as you've always been very loyal, an awesome listener and have a lot of empathy. Also, you are not shy to put someone in their place and tell them how you feel, which I just love about you. Another really close friend of mine, Rianne, who I also went to college with and still very close friends with to this day, you're confident and even if sometimes you may not feel it, you know how to stand up for yourself and others where needed. You're loyal, you're measured and able to see a different perspective of a situation. You're balanced and you don't jump to conclusions. You know how to have fun, you're determined and caring, you're intelligent and work hard for what you want. You are able to be there for people and love deeply. You are funny and from what I understand, forgiving. 
which even if sometimes doesn't feel like it, is a very good trait for life. Uh, Beatrice, another friend of mine who I went to uni with. For me, I love that you are open, honest and unapologetic about your opinions and also yourself. You will say things and stand up for what you think where most people would stay quiet. You treat people fairly and see things from other point other people's points of views, whether you agree or not. You are a laugher now to have fun. You are intelligent. You know yourself and what you need, but also consider others. I think you have a good balance of these things. You see people for who they are as individuals and don't make judgments based on people's background or identity. You are open minded. You are balanced in your views and people and in your views about people and can accept positives that you've got from people who may not have wholly been good for you. Very true. You make a difference to the young people you work with and truly care about people. You make the most out of life and make sure you travel and experience different and interesting things. Thank you, Beatrice. Um, a close friend of mine, Leanne. Ayana, I write this in support of you and truly understand and accept the amazing person that you are. My friend, I will start with the simple ones. I love when you're overtired and your inner weird comes out, even though you do your own head in. <laughs> but to me, it shows a part of your character. I love your facial expressions. I can always figure out your possible thought process in that moment. I love your inappropriate laugh. And when you can't hold it in, usually in the most awkward situations, all of these make me laugh. When we are laughing together, it reminds me of mischief mischievous children. Often as adults, I think we believe that we can't be like this sometimes. Now some more internal things. I love your grounding and the way that you ground yourself in nearly every situation. I love how you face your inner fierce and lunge yourself into any situation. You show you can come out alive even with a few cuts and bruises. I love your authenticity to be who you are in others. This also makes me comfortable and self-accepting when I'm around you, which doesn't come around often. I love your determination and this reflects in your strength. And I know we've spoken of this before, but it's still a reminder that you are unbeatable and rise stronger than ever. A true inspiration. I love your head and your heart. Your heart is pure and is shown in the love you give when you listen and support me when I feel like I judge myself. Your love also radiates in your hug. Your hug feels so warm and feels so gentle and safe. Not many people radiate that level of love. You will always stand by what you think is fair and will be a voice for those even when they don't have one. Your head and your heart is a wonderful thing and you are so rightly rightly deserving to feel what you make others feel. I think I've read that right, yeah. Um, my friend Kenny, another a secondary school friend. You are very, very empathetic, regardless of whether you've had personal experience with someone else's struggle. You have the capacity to put yourself in other shoes, which makes you a safe person to confide in. I can talk to you about most things without feeling judged and insecure. Your ability to, to have a constructive and diplomatic view on things, irrespective of your bias and your personal standpoint, you are able to rationalise and come to a good conclusion on most things, despite your personal opinion. And I think this is a unique and special skill that you possess. You are level-headed. Your character is very different from the norm, particularly as a female in this day and age. You rationalise and have an innate ability to look deeper and see beyond the surface. You are strong-willed, but not naively so. You take time to think about how you feel, and once you've made up your mind within yourself, there's no stopping you. You have the ability to cultivate, and for me, you epitomise what a woman is. That's probably one of the best compliments I've ever received in my life, by the way. I feel that whatever you take, you make it better. I think you are someone that if I gave a stack of money to you, you'd multiply it. If I gave you a child, you'd bring out a best of that child. If I gave you a house, you'd make it a home. I think these are associated with a woman and are the ideals of a woman. However, I don't feel that they are consistent and common with women in today's society. But I feel that they are with you. You are just someone who can hold their own. I feel that you are a safe space. I feel that I could put a lot on you and you'd just be able to handle it. And then last but by no means least, my best friend Bethany, my soulmate, my everything. Bethany said, my beautiful soulmate, you are strong, worthy, independent and determined. Putting yourself through therapy isn't easy, but you have made a decision to put your mental well-being first, even if that means being uncomfortable. This is real emotional maturity and commitment to change. Your growth from this will set you up for a bright future as an even stronger woman than you already are. You are resilient and determined in everything that you do. You set your mind to something and you get the job done. You're a natural leader, able to take charge when you need to and always get the best outcome. 
You are one of the funniest people I've ever known. I love being around you. I'm happiest when I'm with you. I've never left your company feeling down. You uplift me even without knowing you're doing it. You don't even have to try. You are so unbelievably intelligent. You are literally able to achieve anything. You're basically superwoman. The way you juggled uni, a home and some form of social life is crazy. I'm so proud of you. You can't even imagine how special you are in every way. You're a trustworthy, reliable friend. You want the best for people around you and you love deeply. I, for one, would be incomplete without you. I'm so happy you're dedicating this year to your mental health and emotional well-being. It can only bring good things. Love you always and forever. My best friend, my sister, my soulmate, Bethany. So those are the things that people had said about me and it, it makes me emotional. I try my best not to cry through reading that. It also makes me uncomfortable that so many nice things were said. Um, but I had to take the positives and put them together and kind of think about the fact that if I trust their opinion and so many of them have got reoccurring themes of who I am and who I represent, excuse me, then there must be some truth in it. There has to be. And I have actually written those up. I've put them on my chest of drawers. They're some of the first things I see when I wake up and before I go to sleep, I read them and I look at them. And I really try to soak them in. It's still uncomfortable for me now. And I did this two months ago. Um, but I'm learning to accept it more. I'm learning to know that I'm loved more. I'm appreciated. And even if I can't trust myself and Patty gets in the way, I trust them. So um, from that, I kind of made some affirmations, which are also on the side of my bed. Some of which I think I already am. Some of which I want to possess more of. And they are, I am strong, lovable kind, committed, self-loving, patient, smart, determined, wise, intuitive and powerful. And I've not been great at repeating those as much as I should, but they are there and I see them and they're in the back of my mind of things to do all the time. So I just want to end this video on not only thanking those beautiful people for the words that they've said because they don't understand how much they've contributed towards me as a person and my journey, but also to kind of ask you guys ask the people around you that you care about whose opinions you trust you know what they think of you what they think of your character what do they love about you um i'm very quick and easy to take criticism i'm not able to take compliments and and praise so just try that and maybe write some affirmations for yourself and see how you feel of practicing them in the morning and in the night say for a week just see how you feel because I know that it's really helped me, it's really changed me and it's really made me feel better about myself, which was needed and a massive part of self-esteem. So that's episode five. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and yeah, I feel overwhelmed with love. I feel very emotional. So I'm hoping you pick up on the emotion of that. And I'm just sending good vibes and good energy to everyone that's watched. Thank you so much for your time. And I'll see you for the concluding episode soon. Bye.